Hi guys, thank you for joining me for another shave and scent of the day. I'm going to do a relatively quick shave today. I've got a Zoom meeting. I'm off work today, but I'm not off work today. I've got a Zoom meeting that I've got to attend, so I'm going to get ready quickly. And of course, they want video on, so I can't walk around in my skivvies. Um, so I've got Zingari Man, The Watchman, which is Stormy Air and Dark Seas. The scent notes are Stormy Air and dark seas. So I'm going to give this a try today. This will be my, I guess, third overall Zingari Man um, to try, with one of them being a um, the Barrel Proof sample um, in collaboration with BBS Live. Um, aftershave today is going to be Dr. John's Hydra Wonderful Citrus. Um, wonderful Citrus Aftershave. I'll be using the unscented balm, uh, the unscented Sago balm from Zingari Man, which I think is absolutely fantastic. I love it, and I will be buying a full, um, a full bottle of it today for sure. I'm gonna keep it light and finish up with Tom Ford Neroli Portofino. It's a beautiful citrus um, Neroli scent. Brush today, after I get it out of the water, will be my Sawdust Creation Studios from Bobby Moffat. Wonderful, wonderful brush with the um, V8 Fanchurian from Chisel and Hound. And weapon of the day will be my .84 Razor Rock Game Changer um, with a Voshkod blade in it. So we're going to go ahead and get into this quickly. I don't have too much time, but I wanted to include you in this since it's another Zingari Man that I've not previously tried. So I just push the sample into there and we'll get it loaded up into this awesome brush. I bought this brush second hand off of um, Nate Bauermeister or Burgermeister, sorry. Um, and I, I really, really love it. And I know he's got another Sawdust Creations um, brush. So I don't know if he was trying to justify the purchase of the other one by selling this one or not, but a, um, I definitely gain in this scenario. All right, so I'm pretty loaded into the brush here, and I'll just take... <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to have enough. I never know how much to push out in a, in a sample, um, but, you know, I don't want to underload it's then it's going to look the make the soap look like it's not as good um, and my shave is not going to be likely not going to be as good either so in order to help the artisan or help be true to the artisan and true to my face i will make sure i have enough product mm, really nice scent get Some citrus, maybe some, it smells like hay. Um, I don't know if there's some vetiver in there, like a cleaner type of vetiver. I feel like there may be some sandalwood in there in the background. Not dark. To me, I, you know, I mean, it's not like a super light, um, you know, really hot summertime scent, um, but it's still, it's still fresh, but it's got that, I'm going to call it a hay note. We'll see how it develops over the shave. Really nice, creamy lather. Love this Sago base. I'll be buying a full tube, full tube, a full tub of Zingari Man and the um, Recovery Splash as well. Once I decide on 
the scent that I want. And I'll tell you what, so far this is really nice. It's kind of a little, a little different than most of my stuff, which is great. Because who wants a bunch of different redundant scents? You know, even if you're getting different bases, you know, I mean, I like my stuff to be varied because I want a different experience every time. It's a nice amount of water worked in here. I used a ton of water during my last shave um, and it worked really well. I was rewarded with some really good slickness. All I'm doing here is just working water through this paste, trying to hydrate it. And you can see that shiny. It's so shiny. Sorry, I have young kids. There's some Moana for you. That's the crab singing. And I'll get one more addition of water. And you can see it's very well hydrated. really well hydrated. All right, I think we're good. Hope everyone has a nice Friday out there. Hope you have a great weekend. I'm working this weekend. The beauty of being a healthcare worker. I thought in getting out of retail, I would uh, not be working weekends. So then I went to culinary school and came out as a chef and realized I didn't do myself any favors. So then I became a um, um, research and development chef. And I thought surely that was gonna be no weekends and turned out for me that was weekends. So that wasn't great either. So then I became a dietitian, and uh, surely that would be Monday through Friday, like, you know, nine to five or eight to four. Nope, every other weekend. All right. I haven't used a DE in so long now that it almost feels foreign to me. I've been really working on my straight razor shaving trying to improve my technique and um, you know practice is the key I definitely have gotten leaps and bounds better and I really enjoyed it. it's a fun way to shave it's, um, you know, that link to the past as well. You know, as is shaving with a DE, but the straight razor goes back a little further. I know there are Sheffield blades from the 1800s. I don't, you know, I don't know exactly how far a straight razor shaving goes back. I'm, I haven't researched it. I 
such a nice, comfortable razor, really efficient. Um, and this Voschkod blade just works really well in this for me. I feel like the Voschkod blade is plenty sharp and it's just incredibly smooth on my skin with my hair type, which is crazy. No, I mean my hair, my facial hair type. Wow, great first pass. Really slick soap. Very nice, clean, um, but a little darker scent. Very nice. Plenty of residual slickness. I could keep going without re-lathering, but, you know, it's part of the fun of the shave. All right, I'm just gonna kind of rock out my next passes. Running kind of low on time, but I'm not going to sacrifice a shave for it. You know, I mean, it's only my job. <laughs> Oh wait, if I lose my job, I can't afford shaving stuff. So I guess it's important. And this Zingari, man, is really good. It is not cheap. You know, hey, I will pay extra money for something that I really enjoy. But I hope it doesn't get any more expensive than it is now. Not just Zingari Man, but just in general. You know, I know they're using a lot better ingredients now. And, you know, a lot are using essential oils instead of fragrance oils. And I know that's more expensive, but. I don't know, I, I guess in the end, you get so many shaves out of the products. I don't know, maybe, maybe it's not expensive. Especially if you only use a couple of different um, soaps. Me, having a YouTube channel is absolutely expensive. And anyone that tells you that it's not, then they're shaving with the same old stuff every shave. I mean, people want to see new stuff and I like to do what I can, but uh, I'm not a man of a lot of money. So a lot of times with the new stuff, you're going to see samples from me. Which, you know, I mean, it's still the same product. It's just in a, a smaller quantity. Really smooth but efficient razor. I've taken so long off of these that I've forgotten how much I like this. I 
have to shave them with a straight razor for a while. This kind of feels like it's cheating. I'll tell you what, you do not get cheated on the quality of the shave. I still can shave my neck way better with a DE than I can with a straight razor. Just because my hair grows like this here, like this there, and then against the grain this way. So it just, it's tough. I keep working on it to see if there's a way that I can get those places better. And I think the key in the end is probably going to be skin stretch. Um, but I just haven't really practiced that way. Um, I mean, heck, all of my shaves are in front of you guys, so it doesn't afford me a lot of practice time. I mean, yes, there is a lot of practice done in front of you guys, but I don't want to rip my face off before I know what I'm doing. time I have. Got about 10 minutes or so until my meeting. It should be just right. can hear it still picking up. Hope that comes across on the camera. Really nice combination of hardware and software here. Very pleased. All right, a few minutes, I'm gonna do a little quick clean up and get those spots on my neck that I was talking about. There's nothing like having my neck totally BBS. It's so great, especially when, you know, I'm wearing a tie almost every day. So it's really nice to not have that rubbing on any hair whatsoever. This is the part that I need to learn to do with a straight razor to be able to get across, or to be able to get against the grain on that. And that's just, oh, it's so nice. It is so nice.
Oh man, that is beautiful. Yeah, sometimes I do overshave. With great, great products, I can get away with it. Oh, man. That's the best shave in a long time. That is so nice. little alum no feedback even against the grain right there This alum off. Beautiful, beautiful shave. Down to about five minutes. Before I have to get logged into the VPN at the hospital. Dr. John's Hydra. Awesome citrus scent. A little menthol snack. Is there menthol in that? Maybe not. No, it doesn't feel menthol-y. It's the Arctic Hydra that has menthol, I believe. And while it's still a little wet, get a little Sago Balm. I like to really pack this stuff on. This stuff is awesome. I already have a skincare regimen at night, um, which keeps my old skin pretty moisturized. Um, but after using this balm the other day for my shave, when I woke up the next morning, my face was so incredibly smooth. I was very impressed. I think my wife is gonna try it now. Mm. Awesome stuff. And now I gotta smell good for the meeting because that's important to me to smell good for myself. And we're gonna finish with Tom Ford Neroli Portofino. Awesome stuff. Decant comes from the Fragrance Decant Boutique. Check them out, they're awesome. Oh, man, it's so fresh. That's just, I mean, that's late spring. Um, through summer. It's just, it's a perfect scent for that. Thank you guys for joining me. I appreciate it. Um, I hope you have a great day. I hope you have a fantastic weekend. I'll see you on the next one.